So it's it's a major factor for mitochondrial yeah. health and for uh, your brain health. But yeah, absolutely. My um, uh, exercise can can stimulate autophagy, can stimulate yep. uh, the proper production and function mm. of your mitochondria as well. Um, so yeah, absolutely. All these things can benefit that. And then eliminating out different things that directly damage your mitochondria. So there are different, you know, I talk, obviously talk a lot about plant toxins, but a lot of these plant toxins directly damage the mitochondria, like cyanide. Cyanide is, a, these cyanogenic glycosides are in about a th roughly 3,000 plants that we know about. Mm. Uh, the WHO said, and CDC says there is no safe amount of cyanide to eat. It's, it's just, you just avoid it, right? Mm. So where is that label on a packet of almonds? Mm or cassava, mm. or veggie chips. It's made out of cassava and tapioca, which have cyanide in it, or flaxseed. Flaxseed is a major staple of vegan vegetarian diets because it's, uh, well, it's high in uh, omega-3s, but it's, uh, I would say, well, we need omega-3s. It's actually the wrong omega-3. It's uh, ALA. Uh, you need DHA and EPA for your brain. Like, ALA is good for your heart, but it doesn't do anything for your brain. Well, 20% of your brain is DHA, right. right? So it's a major structural component of your brain, and EPA makes up another portion, and cholesterol makes up a major portion as well. So, you know, 60, 70% of your brain is fat, and a major part of that is, is these omega-3s that come from animal fat. You don't convert ALA into DHA or EPA very effectively. You know, some say not at all. Some say around 5%. And other studies have shown that actually you eat more ALA and your DHA goes down. So, so you can see these on an electron microscope. And, um, and you, can, you can actually see them. And you can use them with, with more high-powered microscopes yeah. as well. You don't need an electron microscope for it. But, that, but we do have good images. And you can see the, the internal structural components, like the internal membranes. That's where all the, the action happens of yep. oxidative phosphorylation, where uh, the, the, basically the, the energy production of ATP is, takes place on that membrane. Yep. And so it, it's, it's actually pretty incredible what people have been able to figure out about these, these little organelles. Yeah. Like people like Otto Warburg is a Nobel Prize winner in, um, in medicine and physiology. Yeah. He did tons of research on mitochondria and cancer, wrote a seminal paper in the 1950s called The Origins of Cancer. And he argued that cancer was a metabolic mitochondrial disease. And he said that all of these cancer cells, while they ha may have, and this is actually, um, uh, his, his work actually predated Watson and Crick discovering DNA. Right. And then DNA came around, they were just like, yep, DNA is everything. It's yeah. all about your genes. And mm. uh, it's not actually because you have uh, tumors that will have DNA genetic changes, but other cells won't, but they'll still act as cancer. They're all cancer cells, yeah. but only some of them have genetic changes. They'll have different genetic changes. And there are actually cancers out there that have no genetic changes whatsoever, mm. but they all have damaged mitochondria. And that's what uh, Warburg showed, and he showed that through their function, uh, through the, the cells now lacking the ability to go through oxidative phosphorylation. So he actually didn't have sophisticated machinery and equipment and electron microscopes to prove this. He just mm. actually showed by the function and lack of function what was going on, and then that was later confirmed uh, with electron microscope yeah. and with these more advanced sort of uh, technologies that actually confirmed all of his work. There was a paper in 1975 where someone was basically trashing all of his work a couple of years after he died. Basically, they waited for him to die. So <laughs> yes, he got and have it. a rebuttal. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and then he published this stuff out and said, oh, yeah, no, it was a good thought. But, you know, the problem is it just, you know, it, it depended on mitochondria actually being damaged. But now we know that, you know, they're actually not damaged. Yeah. They, they actually are. Mm. And you can see this under electron microscope where the internal membrane is called the cristae is just gutted it's just gone and so that's the thing in biology form equals function mm. so if the form is damaged they mm. won't be able to go through the function so if it doesn't have that internal membrane it doesn't have an internal so membrane what, to, to generate the, atp yeah.